Hey, this is Eris from She Geeks, and I have once again taken over the Super Gilly Brothers Super Fun Show set and stolen this guy. I decided that since we both watch a whole lot of Doctor Who, like most Americans at this point, we should probably try a lot of the foods that they've referenced on the show, because they reference food quite a bit. And not the stuff that you can get in America all over the place, like bananas, as apropos as they are still. So we have decided that we're going to get some of the stuff that's probably not as easy to get in America and um, try it out. So this is basically going to be a video of stupid Americans eating English food. Bring on the food. So we decided to start off with a lovely British breakfast, starting with the porridge, which um, it's referenced mostly in the written uh, Doctor Who novels. But it is kind of sort of referenced in Series 7 in Nightmare in Silver with the Emperor whose name, who goes by Porridge in uh, Hedrick's World of Wonders. Um, and one of the things that it was specifically referenced in the novels that I thought was really interesting was the Fifth Doctor specifically made a note that he preferred his porridge with salt as opposed to sugar. So, uh, we'll be doing that. Yay! Yay! Um, after that, we have some lovely beans on toast. Uh, which is from series one of the New Who with uh, Doctor number nine. He tells Rose specifically in the first episode, go and have your lovely beans on toast, essentially telling her, get out of here, you're done. I don't need you anymore. Um, we're following it up with an omelet with ham and cheese and mayo that the 11th Doctor made for Craig in The Lodger in series five that uh, Craig apparently thought it was the most wonderful thing that he ever ate. I'm kind of going, it's probably going to be good. Okay. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Let's start with the porridge. <laughs> the omelet scares me, I'm not going to lie. How much, I'm, okay, whatever. You just, just, you just salt, salt it. it. <gasps> okay. The dog does not want salted porridge. Ready? Yep. Let's go. Okay. Oh, God. The consistency's fun. Oh, this is... <laughs> oh. That's, that's no. not oatmeal. That is not oatmeal. Well. All right. Oh, that's terrible. It's like eating drywall. <laughs> With salt. That's... Actually, not that bad. <coughs> okay. At first, it's miserable. But actually, I mean, I could. You're just gonna keep going. Okay. I'm gonna eat more of this. I mean, I'm eating spackle. <laughs> That's it's the consistency is my not favorite bad. part. It's it's just kind of there, and like I could probably eat this whole thing. He's not kidding when he says spackle. Like that's that could probably hold up. Yeah, I mean, here's the whole bowl. <laughs> That's... It's not bad. Maybe I'm gonna work. No. Yeah. Um. You can have mine. No, have that's mine. not. No. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. Um. So next we have beans on toast, which I'm hoping is better than that. Um. So I guess I guess do you want to just dip your toast or do you want to like no, spoon it let's on? Let's spoon it. You want to spoon let's it? Spoon be all it. fancy. Let's you got to put fancy. the pinky out then if you're gonna do it that way. Let's. Yeah. Let's. Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Here. Let's don't fall off beans. There. Your beans are not cooperating. Pinky's out. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm not a huge fan of beans to begin with, just in general. So I'm really not sure how I feel about this. But okay. all right, here just goes. Just going for it. Yeah. That's pretty good. It's better than the spackle. It's pork and beans. I'm telling you. <laughs> I could totally eat that whole bowl. Yeah, it's really not that bad. I it's, like it. It's actually pretty good. There's something about the toast that, I'd that actually, adds to the flavor. I don't know. I think I'd actually just rather eat the beans. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think the toast adds to it. Well, let's have some beans. Mm, that's pork and beans. That's it flat out pork and beans. Is it? Yeah. Without the pork? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Alrighty. Yeah, that's 
So far, breakfast is pretty good. And now we have an omelet. With mayo. Yeah. Okay. This is the big one. Yeah. This is the one that I have high hopes for. I like mayo. Oh, you can see the mayo in it still. I know. <laughs> I quite like mayo. I love mayo. I'm just not sure and about it. I'm going it for the big bite here. You, you go for it. I'm going. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's go. All right. It's really That's good. really good. <laughs> That's really, really good. I did not think that was going to be delicious. Man, and that is delicious. That is amazing. All right, seriously, put mayo in your Do omelets it. from now on. How much that did y'all put in? A pretty good bit. Because I think, actually, I could go for more. Yeah, that's... That's really, that's really, really good. really, surprisingly, really, really good. Like, I'm about to fight you for that. <laughs> that's really good. That's, yeah, I need... That's I need crazy a, good. I need more. That's that's delicious. It's insane. It shouldn't be. It Everything about it should be horribly, horribly wrong. Like, the mayo should have just ruined this omelet. Mm -mm. And it didn't. Mm-mm. It's so good. I really like that. Yeah. From now on, mayo in every omelet. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. People in the restaurants are going to look at us like we're completely insane. Yeah. Because every time I go to like an IHOP or something and I order an omelet, I'm going to ask them to put may mayonnaise in it. That's so good. Because that's that's really, really surprising. At what good. step did you mayo? You actually, when you, you cook the omelet itself, okay. like as it's cooking, when you're throwing in all the rest of your toppings, mayo. that's when you put the mayo in. And then you, you know fold it over so and good. whatnot. Yeah, that's that's now I'm wondering though I'm wondering thing. though if it's good because it kinda complements the ham. I think it is. So it is. like I'm it's, wondering it's if ham just and eggs, cheese and mayo. Yeah, I'm wondering if just like eggs and mayo might not be that good. It's possible. But that's possible. This is amazing. But that's that is what the doctor this is my made new for favorite Craig, thing. And that's delicious. Wow. I re <laughs> no, no, hey, come on. I really like no. it. One of the more iconic oh, yeah. food combinations. Oh no.